Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm back with another reading for the collective. Thanks for joining me. I hope everyone's good, doing well. Big thank you to my returning subscribers. I really love and appreciate you guys. I hope you're all good and doing well. Don't forget to give this give this video a thumbs up for me. I appreciate your support. If you're new, you're more than welcome. Thanks for joining us. Do remember this is a general reading. Only take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. So let's jump into this reading. Uh, I have done this reading. I don't know. Retrograde is really retrograde. We're going through Mercury retrograde and I've had to do this reading again. The first one didn't come out. The recording wasn't recording. The audio was faulty. Uh, so I'm doing this reading again. I feel like I have to do it again. It's a reading for somebody out here. Someone needs to get the messages from this reading. As I feel, so I'm doing it again. Second time doing this reading, you guys. So let's jump in. The messages we got for this reading, we got winter. And we got a line. We got mirroring. Childhood trauma. We got truth. It looks like this reading is picking up on a connection you have with someone that is in alignment with you or they need to align with you. Or this is what's going on. So take it how it resonates because... This is someone that wants to talk to you. Someone wants to uh, be honest with you here. Trust me. So someone wants to tell you the truth. So this connection could be aligning here. You have a connection with someone that could be alignment in alignment during this time. Or that's, this is what they want. So let's jump into this reading. Tap into the energies and see what spirit wants us to be aware of. I'll do my free card spread as usual. Is giving the world in reverse. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Two of Wands. Right, so yeah, you need to be aware of this because whoever this masculine energy is, they are coming towards you. Knight of Cups, this is someone taking energy, taking action. This is the energy of someone taking action towards you. It looks like the energy they're coming in is romantic. Knight of Cups. Whoever this masculine is, I'm getting that they have romantic feelings for you. So during this time, it, they could be looking to start a romantic new beginning with you. I am getting that with the world in reverse here, Two of Wands. This is someone um, you may have unfinished business with. The world in reverse. You may, have, you may have tried to close out this cycle with this masculine here. But the world is in reverse. This masculine may feel like there's unfinished business between you and them. You may have... You may be trying to close out the cycle here. And start a new phase without this masculine. At this time. But they feel otherwise. They want to start a new phase with you. They feel like you have unfinished business. Yeah, for some of you, this is someone uh, that's returning back to you. Yeah, they're returning. This is someone that did turn their back on you. Mm. You may have this person blocked for some of you. You guys are definitely not on the same page here. This is someone, I feel like they chose, they chose a different path. This is someone that had a choice between you and a path with someone else. It looks like they chose a different path. They turned their back on you here. But now it looks like they want to return. There's unfinished business. They want to finish what they started with you or something. This is someone that wants to finish what they started. What you guys started. This is how they feel. But you may feel like... Yeah, it's finished. You could be over it at this point. The world, I mean, I feel like this is a cycle where you've learned the lessons. Yeah, there was karmic. This is a karmic uh, situation here with dealing with this masculine. It was karmic. It was a karmic lesson to be learned. It looks like you've learned. Someone, one of you learned, and you're ready to start a new phase. Yeah, and the other one hasn't. I'm getting. They still start making a decision. Yeah, this is someone that was stuck. Trying to make a decision between you and someone else, maybe. Let's clarify. 
Wow, further clarified with the Emperor. So definitely picking up on a masculine energy here. Emperor. Emperor in reverse though. Yeah, two of pentacles. Someone making a decision. This is someone that was juggling. They were juggling you and someone else. So it looks like they're taking action. They are taking action towards you. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is someone um, that's returning. There's unfinished business here. This is how they feel. They want to finish what they started with you. They're coming in. They want to talk. Page of Wands. Yeah, we've got the Page of Wands. You're going to get a message. They're messaging you. Okay. Yeah, this is someone that had to make a decision here about you. Ten of Cups. Wow. So for some of you, this is your divine counterpart. This masculine energy, for some of you, is actually your divine counterpart here. Ten of Cups is like soulmates here. You guys are soulmates. Mm. This could be a family member for some of you. This could be a family member. This is The Emperor could be a father figure. There's a father figure. This could be a masculine uh, family member of yours. A father, brother, uncle, son. Take care, it resonates. Could be a family situation. Yeah, if not, then it's someone uh, that wants a family with you. Ten of Cups. This is someone that wants a family with you. This is a connection where you guys started with this intention. So they want to finish what you guys started here. This is someone that wants to, they feel like you have unfinished business. They're not letting this go. They want a family with you. Check out, it resonates. But they were juggling though. So this is someone that was unsure about you at some point. This is what it is. They were unsure about you. They were going back and forth between you, maybe someone else or another situation. They were unsure. Yeah, two of ones. They turned their back on you. They Maybe they decided to stick to an old situation rather than move forward with you because moving forward with you, this person wasn't sure of the outcome. This person may have had fears about moving forward with you. This is why they, 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 they made that decision. There's a lot of twos in this reading. Two, two, two pentacles to a source, to a one. So this is someone that really has to make a decision. They were struggling to make a decision when it came to you. Yeah, this is someone that came to a point where they had to choose between you and someone else or something else. And they were struggling with it. For some of you, it looks like they chose, you know, someone else or something else. Some, you know, something that they were familiar with. They, it looks like it was based on fear. Whatever decision they made, it was based on fear. So they chose something or someone else because they were scared of the, the unknown. I feel like this connection with you, this person's not really sure about the future with you. They're unsure. Yeah. They don't know the outcome with you, so they stuck to what they knew or something, and they turned their back on you. They chose a different path. This is what he's giving. So it looks like it didn't work out, because they're coming back to you. If that's the case, they're coming back to you. I feel like, yeah, because we've got this message here. Childhood trauma. Whatever decision they made, it was based on childhood trauma. So this was a karmic lesson here to teach someone a lesson to help them heal their childhood trauma. You could be someone that triggered this child, this, this masculine childhood trauma. You could be that type to trigger this masculine childhood trauma because there's some there's someone here in the situation. That has been triggered here. Yeah. And it, it, it caused them to, to make a poor decision. Because of their childhood trauma. I'm getting that. For some of you, this, this person didn't choose you because... Like I said, there was fears of the unknown. This is someone that could be scared of change. Maybe someone like you requires this person to change. 
I'm also getting that. But you're dealing with a masculine here that's very stubborn. We've got the emperor came out in reverse. This this is a masculine energy that's stubborn. This is a very controlling masculine you're dealing with here. Someone that's very controlling. Yeah. And they're also very possessive as well. Hence why they're coming back to you. Because they don't want to let you go when it's all said and done. They want to hold on to you. <laughs> but at the same time, they're not sure about you for some of you. It looks like they're not sure about the future. There, there's a lot of worries, insecurities and and fears when it comes to you. So therefore, they try and hold on to an old situation as well. Because they're scared to let go. Yeah, this is a situation where this is someone that has to let go. They can't. They, this is a situation where someone has to uh, choose one or the other. And they're scared to let go. This is a lesson to teach someone to let go of something here. Or someone. So that they can move forward here. This is why this connection with you and this person is stagnant, I'm getting. With the world in reverse, this connection is stagnant with you and this masculine. Because this masculine is still holding on to the old. They could be old, holding on to someone from their past or something. It could be their, their ways. This person is holding on to their old ways. Childhood trauma. This person could be, they could be childish for some of you. They need to get let go of childish ways. I'm also getting that. Page of Wands. This person could have childish ways they need to let go of. There's something this person needs to let go of. And it stems from their childhood. Stem from the trauma. They haven't healed. They need to heal. For some of you, this situation has triggered your childhood traumas. Take care, it resonates. Yeah. Yeah, this masculine is, is, is mirroring you. We've got mirroring. So they're coming in, but they're mirroring you. Yeah. I feel like you inspire this masculine there. Yeah, you guys have a this this connection here. It looks like you guys are soulmates. You do inspire this masculine, you do trigger this masculine on a deep level. Childhood trauma. So you trigger this masculine's traumas. You trigger them deeply. Yeah. Maybe this is why they weren't sure about you. For some of you, you're not sure about this person. I'm also getting that. There's a lot of twos here in this connection. You could also feel the same. This is why the world is in reverse. You you sh you may have shut this person out. At this point, you're not sure about them. They want to talk to you here. They're rushing in to talk. They're reaching out to you here. This is so. If you heard from them, you're gonna you're gonna hear from this person. Just masculine, if you haven't already. Yeah. Yeah, leads me to this. They want to talk to you. So they want to get back in your good graces here. They want to work on the trust. So this is someone that may have broken the trust. You don't trust this person. Yeah. You may have been aware that this person was juggling you and something else or someone else. You don't trust them. Because they were doing it in a way where they were trying to hold on to you and still had their cake and eat it. They were holding on to you but still not sure about you. They were doing it in a um, deceitful way. They were holding on to you and being deceitful about it, you know? Not being honest with you here. They broke the trust. You don't trust this person here. You're not sure about them. You could be in this energy as well in your head. Or well, when this person reaches out, this person's going to have you in their head. They're going to have you in your head. You maybe have, they're going to put you in a position where you're going to have to choose and make a decision if you want to give them another chance here. Or not. This is what I'm getting. But this person feels like you have unfinished business. Like, you guys, this person wants to finish what you guys started. And this is their goal. Ten of Cups. This is the ultimate happiness and emotional fulfillment here. This person wants you in their life. Forever, I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you could be unsure now about this person because they broke the trust. This is someone that lied to you. They were very deceptive about you or to you. They broke the trust. You, I'm getting. You, you're you going to have to make a decision. This person, you may feel like this person is putting you in a position where 
Now you have to decide. And you're not sure. You're not sure about this masculine. No narcissist, emperor in reverse, could be dealing with Aries for some of you. Take how it resonates. But <laughs> this is someone that's stubborn, controlling, arrogant. It's like you're not sure if you want to even finish anything that you started. For some of you, you've already finished it. For some of you, it's finished. You're over it. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, this connection's strong. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Something about winter here is significant for this connection. Take it how it resonates. Maybe this is someone you met in the winter. Maybe this is someone that you fell out with during the winter. Or maybe winter season coming up is going to be significant here. But this masculine wants to align with you. They're coming in to talk to you here. Align and align with you. They want to align with you. They're making that decision, that all important decision here. It looks like they made up their mind. Someone's made up their mind to a swords in reverse. They were confused. They're not confused anymore. Yeah, someone I'm getting someone's not confused anymore. They know the truth. Oh, I'm getting that as well. Someone knows the truth. Whoever this masculine is, they know the truth now. If they did turn their back on you for someone else or something else. It's because they didn't know the truth about something or someone. But now they do. And they're coming back, they're returning back to you. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, looking deeper. Looking at the rest of the shuffled deck here. It looks like you are guarded here. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment here. Eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're leaving. You're on the verge of leaving for some of you. This is what it is. You're not getting no emotional fulfillment here. This masculine is giving narcissism. Um, I feel like you, you may have suffered narcissistic abuse in this connection with this masculine, with the emperor energy in reverse. This masculine is a narcissist. They're very controlling. Yeah, so you've got boundaries. I'm telling you, it's childhood issues. Six of cups in reverse. They're suffering from the past. That's affecting you guys' connection. Or oh, this masculine was triggered. Or you triggered this masculine's childhood trauma by setting up boundaries. You're triggering this masculine's childhood trauma here. But it's to help them heal. It's to help them to learn a lesson. I'm getting that. This masculine may have triggered your childhood trauma for some of you. We've got Empress here. The Empress in reverse. Yeah. Nine of Wands. For some of you, you don't trust this person. This masculine may have... They trigger your childhood traumas for some of you. This is why you got to... You've learned to protect yourself. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is a connection where... You, you guys trigger each other's childhood traumas. Maybe it's to help you guys heal. Heal your childhood traumas. Yeah, nine of wands. I feel like you've set up boundaries here. You don't trust this person. Yeah, they broke the trust. Yeah, you broke the, they broke the trust here. It's a situation they did turn their back on you. They broke the trust. The empress in reverse. You've got the emperor and empress in reverse. Wow, three of swords. You guys, this is your divine counterpart for some of you. Emperor and Empress, this is your divine counterpart. Yeah, they broke the trust, three of swords, wow. Yeah, you're protecting your energy, you're, you're suffering narcissistic abuse here. Eight of Cups, there's no loving, this masculine not giving you no loving. You're the Empress, so you may have stopped giving to this, this connection now because, you know, you're protecting yourself. This is narcissistic abuse, this masculine is holding on to you. And still holding on to another situation that they need to let go of. That they're holding on to because of childhood trauma. They could be scared. They're holding on to it because of fears of childhood trauma. Yeah. Or insecurities. They're insecure when it comes to this connection with you. Yeah, it's causing nothing but heartache. Look at this. Wow, Ten of Swords, yeah, it is a third party situation. This masculine, for some of you, this masculine is attached 
to a situation outside of you, yeah, that's causing nothing but heartache and pain. This masculine may have betrayed you here. That's what happened. This is why you don't trust them. This is a connection where you was actually betrayed by this masculine here. They turn their back on you to work with a third party. They were in cahoots with someone else. Yeah. Working against you for some of you. This is how you feel. You feel betrayed in this situation. This is a situation where you feel betrayed. This, the way this masculine treated you. Yeah, you feel betrayed here. You stop giving your loving to this connection here. You pull back, it looks like. But I'm getting that this masculine here learn a tough lesson. Yeah, because whoever, whatever situation it is they turn their back on you for, didn't work out for them. It looks like it's come to a bitter end. It's, 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 ten of swords, three of swords. It's a connection that they learn a painful lesson here. Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this masculine made a mistake. This is, this is a, a, a a decision that they made. That they should have learned from, really. This is why it's painful. Yeah, they tried... They, they, whoever the third party situation... Whatever third party situation it is... That they turned their back on you for... Didn't work out for them. Look, now they want to do some saying. So they're coming back now to balance things out with you. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they hurt. They hurt. They're coming to balance things out with you. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Yeah, looks like they want to take you out on a date. They want to make amends here. Yeah, look, King of Cups in reverse. This masculine, oh. This masculine here, there's a lot of conflict here. I feel like if you was in conflict with this masculine, this is a connection where you could have been in conflict with this masculine. You guys were arguing, you're not seeing eye to eye, you weren't seeing eye to eye here. This masculine was, you know, being, this masculine is emotionally unbalanced, it's giving. King of Cups in reverse, they are emotionally unbalanced, whoever this masculine is. They're emotionally all over the place. Yeah, arguing with you. Yeah, this masculine tried to bully you for some of you two of cups in reverse. This masculine tried to bully you and everything. Oh. Yeah, for some of you, you suffered narcissistic abuse here. This is narcissism. King of cups in reverse. This is the energy of a masculine that is a manipulator, emotional, emotional manipulator. They manipulate people and stuff. Play with people's feelings. They're all over the place emotionally. They're a wreck. This is a masculine that is all over the place emotionally. For some of you, they could have uh, fell out with this third party. And they took it out on you. Their frustration is out on you. Check it out, it resonates. If you was in conflict argument with this person, with this masculine here. Yeah, it's like they're projecting their frustrations and their pain, emotional pain, onto you. Arguing with you, taking it out on you. You feel betrayed. You didn't deserve how this masculine treated you. You don't deserve it, the Empress. Yeah, you have to protect yourself here. Yeah, this energy is toxic. This masculine, I mean... Yeah, childhood traumas. This is someone uh, that's got some blockages. Heart chakra blockages. I feel like this, this is someone that may have, you know, been abandoned. They may have felt abandoned as a child. They may have suffered child neglect or, in the worst case scenario, child abuse, molestation. Check out how it resonates. This is someone that hasn't healed from their childhood or they still play victim. This is someone that likes to play the victim. They don't take accountability. For some of you, this is someone I feel like they're returning back to you because now they've been betrayed here in a third party situation. It looks like that third party situation they turned their back on you for and, and went against you for looks like uh, it's blown up in this person's face. Five of ones, they're going through it. There's a lot of drama here. This masculine is going through. I feel like it blew up in their face. They're, they're heartbroken. They feel betrayed. Ten of swords. 
Yeah, I feel like it's karma for this masculine because this third party that they turn their back on you for, you know, was a situation where they may have been uh, gossiping about you. Someone in this third party here was betraying you, gossiping about you, spreading malicious rumours about you. They betrayed you. It's backfired on this masculine now. They're returning back to you because this same third party may have turned against this masculine too. Yeah, I'm getting that. So they're coming back to you here. They're waiting. Some waiting. This masculine is waiting for you. Making plans. You're their wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. You're this masculine's wish fulfillment. Nine of cups, ten of cups. Nine, ten of cups. Wow. For some of you too, there's a lot of twos in this connection here. Two of, two of cups came out. Two of wands, two of pentacles, two of swords. Angel number 22, 22. Could be significant for someone here. This masculine is watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. This masculine, whoever this masculine is, they really feel like you guys have unfinished business and they keep tabs on you here. This is someone that may talk about you a lot. They're trying to get information on you a lot. So during this time, this is something masculine that's stalking you, watching you somehow, social media or whatever. Yeah, there's a separation between you and this masculine here for a ones in reverse. This could be a family member, like I picked out for some of you, or someone that wants family with you, someone that wants to take things to the next level. They want to get married, move in. Yeah, but this connection is unstable. Either way, this connection between you and this person is unstable here. Four ones in reverse. This person may feel like they're not welcome. They want to come to your home. They may feel like they're not welcome. They could be watching your home. This person stalks you, whoever this masculine is. For some of you, this masculine knows where you live. So it could be someone close to you, a family member or a lover, ex-lover. We'll take how it resonates. Someone that is, if they're not your family member, then someone that wants family with you. For some of you, they know where you live. I'm getting that strongly, it looks like. Yeah, not to uh, worry anybody, but you don't look like this is a masculine that knows where you live. This is a type that will stalk your home as well. If they drive, they drive by your house. I'm getting that. Even if they don't drive, for some of you, they may walk, uh, they may even, you know, make that effort to come and take the train or bus, you know, to come and see if your car's parked outside or to come to, I don't know, this is someone spying on you somehow. In your neighbourhood, though, for one in reverse. This is someone outside your home. They're in your neighbourhood during this time. They're taking that time to check on you here. For some of you, this is someone that's scared that they've lost you now at this point. This is why they're, they're taking action. They're rushing back towards you to talk and make amends. Because they feel like, yeah, your boundaries. For some of you, yeah, you really got boundaries here. This person could be blocked for some of you. Or, you know, you've, you've really shut this person out your energy. They feel really shut out. They don't even feel welcome in your home. They're outside your home. Yearning to, to, to get in, to be with you. <laughs> yeah, waiting. Seven of Pentacles, like someone's waiting here. Out, outside your home, waiting for you to let them in. I'm getting that. Yeah, they feel shut out here. Yeah, this is person's confused. Seven of Cups. See, this is someone, they they chose other people over you. They were confused. This is someone that may have chosen, you know, other people over you. If this was a romantic connection, this is someone that was ex entertaining other people romantically. I mean, they're a narcissist. King of Cups in reverse. They were entertaining other people romantically. This is what I'm getting. This person was confused. Seven of Cups in reverse. They're not confused anymore. They've got a reality check now. Yeah. They know. This is someone that knows that no one can pierce you. No one can pierce to you. You guys have a special connection here. So the energy they were getting from you, the loving energy they were getting from you, they can't get it from 
nowhere else. They're realising that now. Maybe this is the lesson they need to learn. They've got to learn the hard way. This is someone that thought that the grass was greener. They, they chose this third-party situation over you, thinking that they, the grass was greener. They thought they could live without you. This is someone that thought they could replace you. They thought you was replaceable. Yeah, narcissist. Narcissist. Mm. They're realising they're getting a reality check now. It looks like they're going through it. They're going through drama. They've been betrayed. The wheel's turned now, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the wheel has turned. The wheel has turned in your favour. This is what it's giving. Yeah, look, we've got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. You guys can have Earth sign in your chart. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. We've got a match here. Yeah, this, you guys, this masculine sees you as a match. But, yeah, they're in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles upright. See, look, uh, yeah, I feel like during this time, you got your back turned to this masculine, it looks like. You're focused on your money. You got your back turned. Yeah, the Five of Swords, there's conflict here between you and this masculine. You're not getting along. You guys don't see eye to eye. For some of you, you may fight over money with this masculine. This masculine may argue with you over money. This could be the issue between you and this masculine. Because whoever this masculine... This masculine is money hungry. It's either they're money hungry right now. Or they're just a greedy motherfucker. I don't know. <laughs> they're tight. I feel like this masculine may have financial issues. This masculine... This is the type of masculine that has financial issues. They could be in debt or something. Or... They got financial burdens. Or this masculine feels insecure. For some of you, I feel like... Secretly, this this is giving jealousy. This masculine could be low key jealous of your financial um, security, because I feel like you're focusing your money. You're someone that's hard working. You're someone that makes your own money, as well as this masculine. This masculine makes their own money too. You guys may be colleagues. You may work with this person for some of you. Take out resonates. If not. Yeah, you're both hard working. You're both focused on your money and stuff. But the difference is your financial st your financial status is more secure and stable. This man this masculine's financial status is not stable. It's not as secure as yours. I feel like there's some sort of jealousy here. It's creating jealousy from this masculine here towards you. Five of Swords, this is why they get into conflict, because it makes this masculine insecure. This masculine, for some of you, they may earn a lot of money. They may have, they may earn more money than you. But the difference is, your income is more steady than theirs. Your income is more constant. You have constant flow of income coming in. Your income is constant, whereas this masculine's income is not as constant as yours. Their, their income may be on and off. Or up and down. It's not stable. They have in this masculine has financial insecurities. Financial there's some sort of instability here. Something's not stable. This masculine may want to live with you with four four of ones. For some of you, this masculine may want to live with you, but their finances is not their income is not stable, it's always on and off or up and down. Whereas your income is more stable, yours is constant. It might not be as much. You might not earn as much, but it's constant. You're stable. This masculine may earn more than you, but it's not as stable. The income is up and down. There's lack of there's lack of security here. For some of you, this is this is causing arguments between you and this masculine here. This is what the argument was about. Or this is the feelings that they project onto you. Five of Swords. See, this is why this masculine makes poor choices because of their fears and insecurities. Uh, they feel insecure when it comes to someone like you. This is why they're not sure if they can have a future with someone like you because someone like you, they know, deserves the world. You deserve better than what they can offer. 
you deserve to be with someone that's stable. You, you're someone that's hard working, so you deserve the best. This masculine, their insecurities get the best, the better of them. They feel insecure when it comes to moving forward with you because they may feel like they can't, they're not on your level. Their income is not steady. If they want to move, if they want to live with you, it's going to be problems. I'm telling you, it's going to be problems. You guys are going to be fighting over bills, who pays what. I don't know. This masculine is the type to fight over money. They like to argue about money because of their insecurities. They project it onto you, someone like you, because someone like you is more stable and it makes them feel jealous and insecure. But they take it out on you to put you down. Like it's your fault? I don't know. I'm getting that. This is someone that's taking out their financial burdens on you. Because they're jealous. During this time, they are jealous, though. Because I feel like you have pulled back your energy on this masculine, in this connection. And put that energy into manifesting wealth. Yes. You you got your back turned here. Look, the queen's got their back turned to this king pentacles here. So you are not giving this masculine, no, you've set all your boundaries, you're not giving them no attention. And you're focusing all your energy and attention into your wealth, into your work. It's, and it's successful for you. It's making this masculine jealous because they're waiting for you. <laughs> they're waiting for you, watching you, watching you work. You could be working from home for some of you. You're at home, they're watching you, waiting. Oh, shit. And you're at home, you're working from home or whatever. And they're jealous. It's making them jealous. You're not giving them no attention. You got your boundaries. They're, they feel shut out. For some of you, you could be mirroring this masculine. This masculine is the type that will put money before love. You could be mirroring this masculine too. Now you're giving them a taste of their own medicine. You're putting your money before love. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. They don't like it. Mirroring. <laughs> they don't like it. Ah, you got your boundaries up. You're not giving what this masculine wants. Look at that. Look what they want. Ace of Cups. Say no more. They want this new beginning with you. New beginning in love. Uh, whoever this masculine is, they got a lot of love for you. It's like you're the mas this masculine. Is, you're the love of their life. Wow. Wow. This must have got a lot of love for you. Their heart is open here. Wow. I'm telling you, they're coming in this Knight of Cups energy. This is someone that's got a romantic feelings for you. For some of you, they want to start a romantic new beginning. Take it how it resonates. Wow. Or you could be moving on to a new beginning. This is what they're worried about. This is a masculine that's worried about you, about losing you to someone else. You may be moving on, look, because you're being guided to move on as well. Six of Swords. Too much conflict in this connection. This connection here with this masculine here is toxic. All they do is argue and fight with you. It's because they project their financial burdens and insecurities onto you, whoever this is. They feel they may feel intimidated by you and your financial security and stability. It makes this masculine feel insecure because they compared to their financial income and security, it's not as stable as yours. And they're taking it out on you. Yeah, you've been guided to move on from this bullshit. <laughs> It's not your problem. Yes. Set boundaries here. Protect your energy. Yeah. Because this masculine is trying to manipulate you. You know, to, 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 to give to them while they give to other people. Seven of Cups. You know, where they put money first and, and other people before you. Betray you. We're a third party here. And then... Uh, when they can't give the same back to you, they, they want to take it out on you and fight you. It's crazy. You healed, star. Wow, you got star energy. So beautiful. <laughs> you're a healer. Whoever you are, you're a healer. You've got the ability to heal yourself and heal others. I mean, this masculine needs healing. And the type of healing that they need, some sort of spiritual healing looks like, 
they can only get it from someone like you. I'm telling you, the energy that they're looking for right about now to help heal from this betrayal that they got, they're got they going through with this third-party situation, they can only get it from someone like you because you guys have a strong soulmate, spiritual connection. You are a healer. You can, you've healed yourself. For some of you, you use your work. Whatever you do for work, it helps to heal you. This is why it's... This is why it's so successful. The work that you do, whatever you do for work, it actually helps to heal you. That's why you focus your energy. You pull back and focus in your energy into work because whatever you do for work, it helps heal heal you. This is what I'm getting. It's very healing. You could be a healer. You're very spiritual, some of you. The work that you do is spiritual. The work that you do is aligned with your spirituality. Take it, it resonates. Or whatever you do, you love, you, you like the work that you do. You like it. It helps to heal you. So you put your energy into that. It's healing. Beautiful. So, yeah, you've healed from this connection. From the betrayal. However, this masculine hasn't. Then they're unable to heal. Yeah, they're unable to heal without you. Look, nine of swords. Yeah, this is someone that's just uh, making poor decisions out here because of their uh, big ego and their stubbornness. Yeah, look at this. The magician in reverse, high priestess. Wow. See this? Whoever this masculine is, for some of you, you, whether you know it or not, I don't know if you know it or not, but this masculine is a warlock. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting at whoever this masculine is, they are a warlock. They're into spiritual practices. They use spiritual practices to attain certain things. For some of you, they're going to a tower reader, high priestess in reverse. Yeah, this masculine here, they're into spiritual practices here. For some of you, they get readings on you. Yeah, it leads me to this. The um, Page of Swords. I said that. This is someone that is stalking you. So not only are they stalking your home, but they stalk you through tarot readings. They get readings on you. Yes, this masculine here is into spiritual practices. For some of you, with the magician here as well, and the high priest, for some of you, this masculine here, I feel like they've, they've paid for spell work. they paid for something here. Yeah, with this Seven of Pentacles energy here. This mask is invested financially in this connection with you. They've invested financially in this connection with you. Secretly, though. Behind your back to stalk you. They may pay someone to stalk you. Yeah, they're paying someone. Yes. They're paying someone to look into you here. They're going to a tarot reader. For some of you, they get personal readings on you. Yes, they pay for readings. This is someone that pays for readings. They invest in getting information on you here. This is someone that has invested financially in spying on you, though. That's where they, they invest their money in when it comes to you, into spying on you. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, to manipulate you here, the magician. Yeah, for some of you, they're paying for some sort of spell work. This person wants to put a love spell on you, man. Yeah, they're coming in to try and work their magic on you. Ah, the magician. This person wants to try and work, put some magic on you here. They've, they've gone to a witch doctor. This is high priestess in reverse. Could be a witch doctor or something. Yeah. You know what? I did pick up on this situation in the previous reading. I picked up on someone that's getting fake readings. They were getting readings on you, but it was fake. The tarot reader was... A karmic that had uh, that was in their feelings. You might need to check out that reading for some of you if you haven't already. I'll, I'll leave the link below. But yeah, that reading someone was giving fake readings about you. Oh, this could be where this ten of swords came in. This is a third party. Yeah, this masculine did. I'm telling you, they chose. They turned their back on you and chose a path here to work with a third party here. To go against you. This third party was going against you. This third party was lying about you. Yeah, this is a situation where you was betrayed. You was backstabbed. Yeah. 
because someone was uh, talking about you behind your back, spreading malicious rumours about you, deception, there was uh, gossip and rumours about you, you was betrayed in this third party situation, this masculine teamed up with, here. Yeah. for some of you this tarot reader, yeah you might need to check out that reading for some of you. But it's masculine here for some of you. I don't know. It's like they're trying to put some spell on you during this time. They're coming in to love bomb you here. They're coming to work their magic on you. They're waiting patiently to see if it will work or something. Yeah, but they've definitely spent money on some sort of spiritual practice here when it comes to dealing with this connection with you. Yeah. Maybe they're getting insight into what you got going on. This is someone being nosy or they're scared. They're trying to get some insight here, get information on you here. Yeah, they want to come out of the cold. I'm telling you, they got financial burdens. Whoever this masculine is, they do have financial burdens. And I feel like it's a strain on your connection with this masculine here. Because this masculine, I feel like you and this masculine are not on the same page financially. Like, your income, I feel like it's a case where you your financial income is more steady than this masculine's here. I'm getting. Or your your financial status is more balanced. This masculine's financial status is not balanced. They've got a lot of burdens. They could have a lot of debts. They could make a lot of money, but... The more money, more money, more problems, isn't it? I don't know, it's masculine. Their financial situation is not balanced. Maybe this is what's frustrating them. They take it out on you. And I feel like for some of you, this is what influences this masculine to make poor decisions. This is what influenced them to choose this third party over you in the first place. Yeah, because of their financial status, their financial insecurities here. This is someone that feels like they could make money, with, with the, they could have made money or build with the third party. So they, they, they turn their back on you here to team up with someone else to make money. Yeah, it looked like it backfired though, I don't know. But yeah, this is a masculine trying to improve their financial situation right now. Yeah, but I feel like it's a lesson. They're learning a tough lesson, though. Because we've got justice. Wow. Justice has been served. So however, they, however this masculine treated you in this connection, they didn't get away with it. Yeah, I'm telling you, they learned a painful lesson here. This third party that they chose over you taught them a painful lesson. They didn't get away with it. They were betrayed. And it's a, it's a karmic lesson. Justice. So it served this person right, this masculine. Whatever pain they're going through with this third party situation, it serves them right. It looks like justice served them right. But yeah. I'm getting this masculine uh, knew better, but they didn't do better. It served them right. They learn a lesson here justice. So a lesson has been learned here. Yeah, it looks like it was learned the hard way, though. But, yeah, they learned the lesson nonetheless. So this is why this message is coming back to you. They learn a lesson here. This is what it is. This is what it is. Shit. Coming back to you. Yeah, third party situation. Look at this. Yeah, they chose a third party over you. Yeah, look, we've got Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a financial situation. Yeah, this masculine is financial. It's, I'm telling you, this masculine is struggling financially. they got burdens. they got financial burdens. It's like this, this masculine, I'm, I'm getting for some of you, this masculine has uh, more outgoings than incoming. And this is a strain in them. This is a burden in them. So they're trying to make more money. To cover their outgoings. they got too much outgoings and not enough coming in. Not enough money coming in. Yeah, it looks like they did choose a, a third party. 
This third party they chose over you? Well, yeah, it was money related. Yeah, it was someone they thought they could make money with, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting, yeah, this masculine here. Wow. But look at this Queen of Cups, you know. Shit. So this is someone that you got love for. This is someone that you cared about. Wow. But, um, yeah, this must have turned their back on you. You guys got your back turned here. Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands. So they turn their back on you here. Could be you're dealing with a fire sign for some of you, this masculine. But it looks like they, they jumped into a situation with a Knight of Pentacles here, a third party situation. For some of you, someone that you know. So you know this third party, Three of Cups. Yeah, you know this third party. Or you know of them. Take it, it resonates. It's someone they work with, someone they make money with. Yeah. You know them, you know them or know of them. But, um, they jumped into this third party situation recklessly, I feel to say. Night of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this masculine didn't think this through. They rushed into a third, this third party connection to make money here. They didn't think it through. They It was a hasty decision. It was very impulsive. Yeah. Yeah, and it was a situation that didn't benefit them at all. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Swords. Yeah, it didn't benefit them. They tried to work with, you know, with someone else. It didn't benefit them. Wow, it was a situation that wasn't for them. Three of Cups in reverse. It could have been a friend of theirs. It's a friend or someone that they work with. But they're not really, whoever it is... Could have betrayed them here. Ten of Swords. This is what I'm saying. This third party situation is masculine. Turn their back on you for. To go make money or whatever. Yeah, they end up getting betrayed here. It was a fake friend. If they were friends, it was fake. Yeah. I'm getting that. It looks like this masculine. They may have uh, joined forces with a friend of theirs. Or a family member. Take it, it resonates. Someone that you know, someone that you know of, they join, They try to join forces here with a friend of this associate here. But whoever it is, it's fake. It's a fake friend. If they're friends, it's a fake friend. Three of Cups in reverse. This is why it's Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. It's a fake friendship here. Or fake family member. Someone being fake with them. So they're not benefiting in this third party situation. They're not benefiting financially. They're, this is, they're not even... Getting the success, the rewards of success that they were looking for in this third party situation. Yeah, for some of you, I feel like this is why there's a lot of um, conflict. This must be going through drama here. I'm telling you, they could be fighting over money with this third party now. Yeah, there's a lot of drama. Yeah, they're fighting over money for some of you. This is what I'm getting. This is why this masculine is emotionally all over the place. This situation has affected them emotionally because this third party is a friend of theirs. They have an emotional attachment to this third party. It's a friend of theirs. This is why it's affected them emotionally here. And they, they feel let down and betrayed now. This, they're not getting along with this third party they're working with. They're fighting over money. Someone's not getting paid. Yeah, there's issues over money here. Someone's not benefiting. They're not getting the financial gain that they thought they would get in this situation. By turning their back against you and work with this third party here. They didn't gain. They didn't benefit. They're frustrated here. And for some of you, this masculine... I'm telling you, night and one's energy in reverse. This is the energy of someone that is abusive. This masculine may have treated you in the worst way. Wow, they treated you in the worst way as well, whoever this masculine is. They treated you like shit. Queen of Cups to the Knight of Wands in reverse. Look at this energy. Wow. I mean, you're definitely not getting no loving in this kind of, from this kind of masculine energy here. There's no loving here. This masculine here was, uh, could have been very violent with you, for some of you. Things could have got physical. This, this type of masculine that, you know... You need to protect yourself from this masculine. 
tends tends to have a hot temper and they lack um self discipline and self control. This is a masculine that doesn't have no control over their emotions. So things could go from zero to a hundred with this masculine very quickly. They're very hot tempered. They have no control over their emotions or anger. Thing I feel like <laughs> This is a connection where, for those of you that did argue with this masculine, it was a very explosive argument for some of you. I mean, things can get explosive with this masculine here. Yeah. This is a masculine that's very, they're emotionally all over the place. This is what I'm saying. They're very unbalanced, man. And this masculine treated you in the worst way. For some of you, if this is an ex-lover, I mean, this is someone... They may have just been trying to use you for one thing. They're taking your loving and your kindness for weakness. They're taking advantage of you. Yeah, for some of you, this masculine could have been very forceful with you sexually. Take it, it resonates, man. This masculine was abusive on some level. They were very abusive with you. and you, whatever, However they treated you, you didn't deserve it, Queen of Cups. This is someone that you was very loving to. So you didn't deserve it here. So they looks like they went through karma <laughs> for how they treated you. So this fair party situation blew up in their face. It looks like yeah, because of how they treated you. Yeah, justice. They didn't get away with it. Yeah, this person didn't get away with how they treated you. They treated you, whoever this masculine is. They they treated you. They treated you like shit in this situation here. They thought. They knew better. They thought you could be replaced as well for some of you. Seven of Cups. They were very arrogant. They thought they could have replaced you. So this is why they treated you, you know, very poorly. I mean, this is a mass connection where you was treated poorly here. This is what it looks like. For no reason. Just because of this masculine's own insecurities and their own fears. And they took it out on you. And then try to move on, turn their back on you. <laughs> and, you know, attach themselves to another situation where they thought they could be more financially successful than you. And that blew up in their face. That situation blew up in their face. That third party situation blew up. They got betrayed and backstabbed by the same third party that they betrayed you for. Yeah, they got let down here. Yeah. And... Their financial situation didn't change either. They're still not financially uh, secure at this point, you know. Whatever they tried to uh, fulfil, whatever goal they tried to fulfil here, wasn't successful either. Yeah. So it looks like this masculine here, it looks like they're coming towards you here to make amends. They want to make amends with you. They're lurking. For some of you, they're lurking outside your home and stuff. I don't know, but it looks like if you haven't heard from this masculine, you're going to hear from them very soon. They're taking action. They're active around, around you during this time. Lurking, spying, stalking, you know. If you're ignoring this person, yeah, they're, they're stalking you. They're stalking you during this time. Mm. They want to uh, make amends here. So this could be a, a situation where it's helping to align this masculine's energy with your energy. Or this is what needs to happen. This masculine's energy needs to align with yours in order for you guys to move forward here. Otherwise, you guys can't move forward here if your energies are not in alignment. Something about winter coming up for some of you. Or something about winter. This connection, this is a this is a situation that happened in winter for some of you. Take it how it resonates. And this masculine has been aligning themselves during this time during that time since then. Trying to mirror you. So they, they can be in alignment with you. This is this masculine is trying this is a masculine trying to be in alignment with you now. Yeah, they want to they want to talk to you now, they want to be honest with you, they want to work on the trust. Because now they know how it feels to be betrayed. Because uh, whatever, however they betrayed you happened to them. They got bet betrayed by the same third party that they betrayed you for. Now they know how it feels, it looks like. They've learned something here. They can relate. Now they can align with you now. Because they've been betrayed. They can relate. Justice. 
Yes, uh, this is someone that thought they could get away with treating people any old how, thinking they know it all. Yeah, it looks like life has t taught them a lesson here. They go through some life lessons here. I'm telling you, this masculine was reckless. Uh, they treated you reckless. They jumped into a third party situation recklessly without thinking. You know, for some of you, this is a third party situation. I'm also getting, uh, this is a third party situation where they've been betrayed before. They've been let down by the same friend or family member, whoever they, they was working with. They've already been let down by this person, this third party before. And it's either they didn't learn or because of their fears and insecurities when it comes to you, they they made a hasty, de hasty decision to just jump back into this connection again, thinking that it will work out better this time. But no, they learned a tough lesson here. Like, no, it's time for them to let go of this third party, whoever they jumped into this third party situation with. It's time for them to let that go and learn a lesson. This is why it serves them right, justice. It serves you right. Whatever pain they're going through and emotional turmoil, it serves them right because they knew better than to choose this third party over you because whoever this third party is is someone they've already uh, been let down from before already. You're supposed to learn from that. Why do you make the same poor decision again to go back into that? And go through the same shit again. So it's a lesson. Serve them right. So they learn from it. I feel for some of you it's because of childhood traumas. This is someone that's got that's got a lot of insecurities here. It's there from their childhood. And this is what it is. It makes them make poor decisions. There's a lot of fears here. Is someone scared of letting go? I don't know. It serves them right. Whatever it is they're going through, serves them right. This is it. And you setting up your boundaries serves this person right as well. So let's get some angel answers. Close out this reading. We've got no need to worry. So it looks like this is a situation where you don't have to worry about. For those of you that's worried, if anybody's worried, there's no need to worry. It looks like... Nothing to worry about here. Everything's working out in perfect timing. Look at this, perfect timing. So there's nothing to worry about here. Whatever's going on in this connection is for a reason. Yes. So this third party situation, it happened in perfect timing. And I know it's perfect timing for you and this masculine now to work things out, I'm getting. It could be. It could be perfect timing for you guys to work things out. I'm not sure. Justice is here. So this masculine wants to apologise. I'm getting. They do. This is a masculine. I'm sorry. They're sorry now. I'm telling you. They've been through it. They know what it feels like to be betrayed by someone that you, that you trust. They know what it feels like. They're sorry now. So it's perfect timing. This masculine is in, they're getting in alignment with you now. Yeah, I'm also getting, don't stop. Wow. So for some of you, you're unstoppable during this time. You set up your boundaries and you're focused on moving forward, it looks like. And it looks like you're being guided to move forward. Six of Swords energy, keep moving forward to calmer waters. Yeah, and don't stop. This is what I'm getting. Keep my focus on moving forward. Yeah, and we've got weight. Right. So I'm getting, for some of you, this masculine wants you to wait for them. So this masculine could be coming in here to to make you wait for them. This could be their tactics here. They kind of come in and love bomb you here because they feel like you're not waiting for them. This masculine feels like you're moving on. This is what it's giving. Yeah, this masculine feels like you're moving on and they're scared of losing you, so they're going to love bomb you here, apologise, try apologise and love bomb you. Yeah, because they, they want you to wait for them. Yeah, I feel like this masculine, yeah, they want you to wait while they work on their finances. This masculine really wants to... Yeah, they're trying to uh, improve their financial circumstances, I'm getting, and it's it's a struggle. They're making it a struggle with their poor choices and reckless decisions and reckless behaviour. 
they're making it a struggle for themselves. They're setting themselves back here by being childish and making poor decisions. Yeah. So now they want you to wait, but it's not. But I feel like spirit is saying, no, don't stop. Don't wait. Don't stop because it's not your problem. This masculine has to learn, you know. They're teaching this masculine to make better decisions moving forward. They've got to learn. It's not fair on you to wait. You've done the work and you've done the healing. You know, you've let go of necessary third parties and people. You've done the work here. This masculine has to put in the work. They have to let go of certain third parties and situations here that no longer serves them. They have to learn a lesson here. This is what I'm getting. But for those of you, you know, that's waiting for this masculine, because there is unfinished between unfinished business between you and this masculine. This is what I'm getting. There's unfinished business here. And I feel like this is a connection. This is a masculine you got love for. Queen of Cups came out. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You got love for this person. For some of you, I mean, if you are waiting for this masculine, you may need a little patience, I'm getting. Uh, this is a connection where I feel like, yeah, I'm getting, this is not a connection to rush into during this time. Take things slow, wait. Yeah, for some of you. Yeah, this is not a connection to rush into. You may need to have a little bit more patience because this masculine here has to go sit down somewhere and do some self-reflection, I feel. Yes, yeah, nine of swords. They've got to go and sit down and think about their behaviour here and learn how to treat people, especially people like you, Queen of Cups. You didn't deserve, you don't deserve their narcissistic abuse, you know? You deserve better than that. This masculine knows that you deserve, you're someone that deserves the world. They know. Yes, this masculine needs to go and... Yeah, you need to make this masculine wait for some of you. Or you could be making this masculine wait for some of you. Or this masculine is waiting, like I picked up. So for some of you, this masculine is waiting. They could literally be waiting outside your home if they know where you live. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, but this masculine is waiting. This masculine is waiting or they want you to wait. Take out it resonates. For some of you, you may need to wait, you have, have a bit more patience here while the universe, God and your angels sorts out this third party situation here because it looks like it's drama. So getting together with this masculine during this time, it could be toxic for you right about now. For some of you, toxic for your mental health and your emotional health and spiritual health. So you might need to wait, it looks like. Well, God and your angels sort out this third party situation here. It's drama. Well, it looks like it, there's nothing to worry about, though. And it's being sorted out in perfect timing. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, so keep moving forward. Focus on moving forward. Don't stop what you're doing. Don't stop work or whatever you're doing to, to us helping you to heal. Don't stop. Don't let this masculine stop you either. Don't let them slow you down. You know, keep focusing on yourself and your goals. And your manifestations, yeah. Your, your God and your angels are behind you 100% here. This is what it is. Justice is being served here. People are getting what they deserve here. This is it. This is what I'm getting. So I'll leave it here for now. I hope this reading helps you guys. I really hope this reading helps. It gave you insight and clarity. Or just confirm what you already know. So if it does resonate with you in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. So give this video a thumbs up for me. And uh, I hope you join me in the next video. I hope I see you again. Please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you real soon. Bye for now.